Hello everyone, welcome to a Lions Den Sport interview. Today, I'm very pleased to have on Farzad Anwan. Farzad, how are you, brother, first of all? First of all, good morning. Um, I'm doing very good. And thank you, like, for Terry Singh, for, for inviting me on this interview. Like, I'm very glad. I'm, I'm very pleased that you're on, brother. Uh, you were just telling me we yeah, just, yeah. We, we, we've been delayed a little bit. You had training, I had training. But we finally come together and we've got this one sorted, right? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's like it's fine. Like it's it's a it's a human nature. Everyone get delayed for ten fifteen minutes, but and at least we got some timing. nice breakfast. It's you know, in between. Well. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not. It's like it's Indian. And you can out of timing or like ten fifteen minutes is not a big deal. <laughs> good man, good man, good man. So, but how was your training today? Good. What, yeah. what were you working on? I'll be working on like normal basic things because now now like I'm not in a proper camp. Like I'm doing my training, but not in a proper camp training. So I'm just fix, like fixing my basics and doing working on more on my conditioning. That's it. Yeah. Well, get, yeah. how did you? Because you're you're obviously Indian descent. You're from India. You're born in India. Yeah. Like, how did you end up in Dubai? Yeah, yeah. So the thing, basically, like my uncle, he's like he, my 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 family background is with sports. So my uncle, Kamal Mustafa, he's like he was a boxer. So I grew up with him, like following him, like follow his pathway. So. So I just I like I started, so in the kid I was like fat kid. So one day he asked me like you want to do something for chill or something. I said yeah why not sure. So he took me where he used to train. It was like big playground like massive playground and there's a like small club you know like it within a football within a football ground with a small like boxing club. Mm-hmm. So he used to like train over there and then I still remember like I was not thinking it serious because I used to be a very good in studies. Used to be. Uh-huh. So then on 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 2014, I had my first nationals in Punjab, in India, Punjab. So from that, I thought like, yeah, I can like, like, I'm loving it, you know, like I can do something. So from from there, I started like putting more more like potential in this. Then on 2018, my uncle did a pro boxing in in India. So when I saw that pro boxing thing, like there is like so much of like glamour. People that said, like so were glory, like paparazzi and like the name, the crowd. And I see like it's it was more fun than amateur, you know. And even when I was in amateur, I used to follow Floyd Mayweather, you know, Kenelo Alvarez, like my motherly Mike Tyson, like to like watch his like videos and all. So I told my uncle, like, I wanna like I wanna switch, I wanna turn pro, like I wanna do some like I wanna do something on pro, like not in amateur boxing. So I can make my name big. I can like do something good. So he said like, okay, let's see. So we have connected from Dubai. They sent me over here in Dubai. In 2019, August, I came here in Dubai. So from there, I started and I did my debut in December 2019. 2019. From there, here we go. We're still here now. So you, you did your de- And since then, since 2019, which is, you know, we've had we've had COVID since then. You know, you, know, you, you had to take some yeah, break. Yes. You're you're sixteen and oh now in yes. such a short time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. So like, so on court. So I did my I did my second fight. I did my first fight in December. Second fight in twenty twenty January, and then all blocked for like eight nine months. But but in Dubai it was like the lockdown opened very quick. Then all the fights were happening in in Dubai like from UK and all. So I got some good cards that time. Like I fought in like Carl Frampton choke, uh, Jamil Harry Carl Frampton. I fought in other big events. Was was broadcasting by on ESPN and IFL as well. So from that I got my coverage as well. And then from that, yeah. from that you also got the opportunity to box someone called Harley Ben, right? He's quite a oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's quite a fate. Oh. The name, the Ben name, is quite famous in boxing. Especially in the UK, with Nigel Ben being his yeah. his, his yeah, dad. But, okay, okay, okay. Let, okay, let me let me tell you one thing. Um, I had on twenty on twenty second on twenty twenty two. I had one fight uh, in March, like you know, in the beginning of twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. I have my one. I I fought I fought one fight. I fought with Uzbek like Uzbek guy, and I won that fight. After after that fight, I think Kugan was interviewing me over there, so he said like, "What's your plan, thing?" Do you like? Do you wanna do you wanna fight Conor Ben, and like in uh, come down in London and fight Con, like Conor Ben? I said, of course, why not? Like I'm looking for that opportunity which can hit me, like you know, make my name more bigger in this in this industry. And then 
after seven, eight months, I took my, I, like, I fought for WBC Middle East title. And then I heard, like, Taliban wants to fight with me. I said, what? Sorry, like, eight months ago, I just said, like, I want to fight his brother, Conor Ben, maybe in future, like, in around 2026, 2027. And now he's saying, like, Taliban, he's, like, his brother saying me, like, he, want, he wants to fight with me. I said, then sure, why not? Let's start from his brother. Then in future, we can see what's happening. That is mad. And obviously, the fight happened this year. Um, yeah, this year, yeah. It was quite a clinical performance, I would say, is, you know, you put on a yeah, great, yeah. great performance. How, yeah. did that, how did that feel for you, putting on such a clinical performance against um, Harley Ben? To be honest, to be honest, like, I never feel, I never had such a joy to hitting someone, to be honest. Even on the, like, street fights or in the ring, I never had so much enjoy to beating that single person because he was something, I think it was something on his head, like he was something having some crack, you know. <laughs> you get me? Like he was like he was like fighting some like fighting someone and do a trash talk is a different thing. But he was like kind of harassing me, like he's texting me, he's asking his friends to text on me, he's like he's asking his family members to comment comment on my post or thing. But it's fine. I think it was all part of his game plan to. To, like to portray that kind of thing but it's good all good but now we fought and there is no more nothing hot blood between us so yeah we're good but by the way he never unblocked me after the fight after the fight straight away he blocked me so we never spoke but it is already not it's it's funny because he said you blocked him because you put a video of where you're hitting him with three uppercuts and he said it <laughs> oh it was <laughs> it was four by the way four uppercuts. yeah all in one go that that could put someone yeah. else getting caught by those four uppercuts yeah. Yeah, but 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 he seems to be a nice dude, by the way. He seems to be a nice guy, but he he seems like a nice person. He seems like a humble person. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, after the fight, I believe he came to your dressing room and he was like, "Congratulations to you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, after, like after the fight. Hello, you can see him. You can see me, right? I can see you. Yeah. Yeah. So after the fight, uh, Haliban and Ohara Davis, like they both they both came into my into my changing room and over there like we discussed the thing and we both said like yeah it was all the part of the like fight and making like business and thing so but at the end like we just hug each other and that's the thing like finish everything is done he, he he did say he was a bit annoyed with you because what you said in the ring uh after the fight uh because by the way after, like normally after i think the beef's done like it's, it's <laughs> over but i think you said something to him about his dad he's living off his dad's name and his money and stuff and he was a yeah. little annoyed about that from your side of things. I mean, to, to be honest, like I don't care because before the fight, like he was he was destroying my name and my family name. So I don't care about that. If I met him this for a couple of minutes, so I don't care on that. So, so that was your way to to actually let. Yeah, that's my way. Yeah. So I, I, like me, me as a kind of a person, like I will show them what I am inside the ring. Like before, okay, we do a little bit fast talk, but me, I believe in what I like what I perform in the ring and after the fight. If if it was good enough, I would say yeah. Whatever you said, I agreed. But he wasn't good, and I and I know he wasn't good. Like I believe in myself, you know, he wasn't good. He's not even my level. But still, he wanted to fight. Like respect, he took. He did, like he wants to fight with me. So, like respect for that guy. Good. So now that beef's over, it can you can both can yeah. finally move forward with your careers, and you can move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you actually feel yeah, yeah, and best of luck, best of luck to him as well. Yeah. Yeah. Best and of you, luck to Ben as well. Yeah, actually, so saying that the the other yeah. Ben, Connor Ben, has any of that? Has anything like that happened? Is there any talk of you two fighting in the future? I mean, like Connor Ben is my potential future fight. I really want to fight with him in the future uh, because, like, first of all, like he's a good fighter. He's on. He's on. He's on a top, and I like to. I like to take challenge. I like to. And if you want to be on top, you have to beat people from like who's who is like top of the new, who's like more good than you. You know, if you want to be on top, if you want to be known on that industry, and it's not only like Conor Ben. Like there's a lot of guys in in that world of career. There's like Conor Ben, there's Josh Taylor, there's Spence Crawford, there's Errol Spence. So like, I want to fight all of like all of them so I can be on top. There's like like Mark now that there is one Albanian guy is like hyping up for like Corina Mark who I cannot I pronounce know. his name. Sorry. Yeah, but, like I want, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to fight him as well. So I want, so I want to fight with those from which I can benefit my career. You know, you get me. So I can get benefit my career. I can put myself on top. I want, I want to put. Like, have you ever seen like any Indian boxers from professional? 
like like, like who's become a world champion or been in like top 10 top 15 never right so i so this is my dream to put like indian boxing on that level so like it's like not only me like i will be happy if any indian boxer reaching on that level and doing such things you know so this is my dream so i want to be like on top and as a like and become as a history as an indian boxer you get me so that's my dream what does it mean for you to represent india in boxing it means a lot it means a lot and i'm proud to be an indian like some people say oh indian this and in this no you, you like if you're saying india is this india is that indian boxer is not strong as this then maybe like you, you have some wrong mindset there used to be where only only amateur boxing was good there was no professional boxing but now there's a lot of professional, like professional boxers also coming up step by step so like there is Kartik Shatish who also like who came down to UK and, and fight with like Jonathan Lopez on on super lightweight there's also Asif Khan in super featherweight so like there are a lot of potential fighters who's like coming up in the, in, like into the in, like in Indian boxing as well I, I was going to say that like how is the potential you you know it better than me how is the potential yeah. in, in India at the moment is there is there growth coming in India with professional boxing because we see so many great talent in the amateur yeah, yeah. Uh, as yeah was, the thing is like yeah. the thing is like let me, let me tell you in, about like Indian in Indian Indian boxing society yeah so in Indian boxing society they want to like the way they support amateur boxing amateur, amateur boxer amateur boxing they don't support the same way to professional boxing you know so and like there are some fighters who want like one like who wants to turn pro but they're not getting like a strong backup the strong support if they if they get like strong backup and strong support in like inside in like within the india no people will have to travel outside the india like me i'm outside so if the saying he's outside like Kati Shati, sometimes he comes to dubai he does his training camp he go back to india so like if indian if indian boxing committees for like support professional boxing so it can be very good but and one thing like and there is one guy from mustafa kamal he's doing a great job for indian indian professional boxing like he's he's, he's collecting all around the like pro boxers in like within the country he's like training them he just now opened a gym called grassroots boxing so he's like doing his boxing team, like he's making his boxing team over there as well for like he's he's doing more like too much for professional boxing in india as well but well, where's that gym based in India? So people know where is it based? Uh, so like grassroots boxing gym, it's based in Bangalore, the city like the city called Bangalore over there. Where would you say in India? Where would you say in India the, the biggest talent of boxers is? Where in India is the biggest talents? Uh, I would say Punjab North side, like Haryana, Delhi, Punjab. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's something. There seems to be. It seems the Punjab area seems to be making good boxers and stuff, right? There is yeah, true. yeah, yeah. Exactly, right, exactly. Yeah, man. Um, what's next for you after this, man? Obviously, you fought again. You fought again two minutes, two two months after the Harlem Ben fight. Yeah, uh, yeah, I fought. Yeah, little fire. Um, yeah. Do you plan to go out again anytime soon? Yeah, like before, before, before this year end, I want to do one more fight, like potentially a good fight, and then next year I want to like take all the like step up fight, which can help me to build my career more stronger on rankings on, like. On everything, you know, on, on the same boxing industry. How is the boxing scene in Dubai as well? Is is it is it Box, growing? Boxing in boxing in Dubai is growing. Like now, right? And especially like the city, like the Amma Siddiqui boxing promotion. Like I'm from that promotion. He's doing a great job. Like right now, he's like he's having an event this coming Saturday in Abu Dhabi. It's gonna be live telecast on the zone as well. Like he's doing a great job. Like I'm from his promotion, and like boxing is growing in dubai like now every week every week there's a small show happening and every like other one month or two months there's like big show happening all around this like this like this drop is coming over here match one is coming over here so it's getting it's going great and are, are you are you on their raiders match room frank warren do, do they know about you have they reached out to you or anything saying we want you on our show i mean i mean i mean they they know about me they know about like they know then they know my manager management and probably like they know my management as well but they, they haven't reached, reached on me because they have to reach my management first they cannot just return me you know one thing um i had a boxer i reached out to a boxer one boxer called uh called you out quite recently uh from the uk uh, uh a white uh, called lenny fuller 
Um, uh, are you familiar with Danny Fuller? Uh, I, I never heard about him, but in the last two days, I saw his family member and him commenting on my post. By the way, it was last night. Like I was on my bed, I saw his commenting and some guys were like, after his fight, they were like tagging on his like stories and something. So, I don't know. I think like this is like, this is some UK shit. Like, don't get me wrong. Like you, some UK fighters, they do like that. Like, instead of being calm and polite, they just go talk, put like some, ask their family members to go on that their Instagram, follow them, first follow them and then comment on them. You get me? It's not even like, if you want to, if you want to comment, then don't follow me. <laughs> Yeah, like you wanna fall so that you wanna you wanna follow me, then you wanna see what I'm doing, and then you wanna comment bad about me. You get me? Mm. Just look at what. Mm. But it's good. I'm but it's good. I'm getting my phone, like like fans from there, so it's fine. You're you growing your you're you're certainly growing your fans in the UK. Uh, because yeah. obviously it's a big name in uh, in Harlem, Ben or Hall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And now Harlem, Ben yeah. is quite a big name in the UK as well. You know, he's he's got he's from the. Uh, Kent's always got a big following from that from the traveling community. Um, so okay. it's, it's quite a, it could be quite interesting interesting matchup if it does happen. I don't know, like, like I, I like I can't say anything right for for now because I'm I'm looking on my like I'm looking for a step of fire like like to putting myself more on big like big big or big in my career, but but you never know, you know. But let me tell you one thing, like, I'm ready for everything. I'm ready for everything. So if there's, like, Lenny Fuller or if there's, like, there's Josh Taylor or Conor Ben, like, give me time and death, I'll be, I'll, like, I'll prepare myself. So, I, like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, I came here to fight, not to be, like, oh, I, I'm scared of this. No, I don't, I don't care from anyone. Good man. And he said, and I heard, and I heard, like, Lenny Fuller, he was saying, to we chop my head off and do something? By the way, Halleben was saying the same thing and see what happened to Halleben. And I and I heard as well he was saying, like, oh, he's not Halle Ben. So let me tell you whether you're not better than Halle Ben as well. You're same as Halle Ben. That you're same style. That's <laughs> confident talk. I'll tell you, it, it'd be a great matchup. Hopefully it happens soon. Um, if it doesn't Hopefully happen, inshallah. if it doesn't happen, what, what's your next plan? What is it that ideally you would want next? Uh see, I don't have I don't have any certain name on my on my head right now, but if it's a good fight and a step of fight, that, that's all I can say. Good man, good man. Yeah. Like, um, I, I've got to ask you one last question as well, Fazan. Yeah, sure, sure, go ahead. I, I read somewhere that your middle name is Amir Khan, or you call your nickname Amir Khan, is that right? No, oh, it's, it's not me. Like, I'm telling you one thing. I didn't, like, in, in, 20, in, in 2020, yeah, before, before the COVID happened, I did, I did, I did one fight. It was, it was like I did one fight, so it was it was coverage with IFL and ESPN. So Kugan was there. So Kugan was there. So Kugan he came to me. So like, do you want to interview? I said, yeah, sure, why not? So, and that was my first first interview of my whole career of my whole life. That was my wow. first ever interview, you know. So I was very nervous. I couldn't like I know I still remember I couldn't even speak or understand him properly. I was so nervous. <laughs> so from so from there, so from there. Like I saw, then I saw the comment. Like everyone started saying, like, "Oh, Indian American, Indian American, Kazan American, Anwar." So I was like, "Okay, <laughs> no problem." Take it, take it. What, 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 but, what, but, yeah, sorry, go on. But 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 American, like he's also a very good, very good human. Like I all like most of the time I clash with him here and there because he also lives in Dubai. Like he's a very good person. He's like very good, good human. I was gonna say, what, what do you reckon American has done for? Like Asian boxing, you see more boxers from the Pakistani community come forward. Um, uh, that are that are boxers, right? What do you reckon he's done for boxing in general for like the whole Asian community? I mean, like in general, Amir Khan is a very big name. Like he did a very good thing as an Asian, like as, as an Asian community, like for in like especially for for like us, like Indian, Indian, like Indian and Pakistani boxers. So like. And a lot of and, and a lot of like fighters look up into the Amir Khan like how he fight like how he how he was in style. So yeah, he like he's a he's a he's a great he's a great name in Asia. Wicked man, wicked. And, yeah. Hazan, is there anything yeah. else that you that you'd like to say before we finish off the interview, man? 
Uh, yeah, big shout out to my phone, to my from to my to my management, Amos Siddiqui and Sports Round and Team. Uh, to Lion Ben who invited me in this podcast. It was a lovely having with you. And if if this video goes viral, I know for sure this video will go viral. People out in India, if you wanna learn, if you wanna if you wanna transit into pro and want and wanna make your career big in pro, reach out to Grassroot Boxing Promotion in Bangalore. And yeah, that's good. Top man. Pazan, thank yeah, you very man. much for your time, man. I really thank you so much, man. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you very All much right. for listening and uh, watch out for the next one. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye.